first off, thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate it and you. This painting is called Hold On As Time Passes, or at least that's what I'm calling it for now. I'm in a slightly better mood than I had been in my past two videos. Consider watching them if you like torture or liking and subscribing. Anyhow, this sketch was one of the first from when I entered that mental rut. So to me, it is a bit jarring, distressing, very moody. I'm still being experimental in my proportions and distortion. I really like that aspect of it. That aside, I must echo James Carr, the song, You've Got My Mind Messed Up, because I said, slash, thought to myself, foolishly, I'll take a break. I won't paint today. I won't make a video. Then I proceeded to do just that. And it's funny because I didn't sleep well. Really, I hardly slept. I doubt it's because my blood sugar was too high, but for some reason, I didn't feel compelled to check it or verify that inclination. I don't really sleep through the night anyway, but I checked it this morning, which my mornings normally start like 1 to 3 a.m. Don't judge me. My blood sugar was only 63. That's low. Too low. I was experiencing symptoms of it being too high, or so I thought. Anyway, don't take for granted your functioning pancreas. Despite that, I don't feel tired. I'm very energized. I'm very motivated to do things. I, I don't know what I'm made of. <laughs> Artificial energy. Unwavering motivation. Who knows? On the note of James Carr, he's underrated in my opinion. He's very similar to Otis Redding. And they were contemporaries. I stay listening to love songs. Yet, I'm perpetually single. I don't ever see that changing. And I'm not going to wax poetically, as I did when I was talking to my sister. I was like, I just don't see that for me. I just don't. I think my mind turns, refines, reduces love to passion. I'm a passionate person. At least about art. The rapper Common kind of did that same thing with like his ode to hip-hop but also subliminally expressing his love for erica badu so it made sense when joss stone featured him in lauren hill on introducing joss stone the song she did with common was tell me what you're gonna do now or wait tell me what we're gonna do now i love this song and then the one she did with lauren hill was just simply music and i think Introducing Joss Stone was the first album Joss Stone actually said that she participated in the writing in because she did covers for so long. I almost mentioned her song Music featuring Lauryn Hill because Lauryn Hill really articulates the importance of music culturally and socially in that song. And I don't know. I just, just It's amazing to me how she does it. I think she's a Gemini. I think when I looked up her natal chart, she's like Gemini and Sagittarius. And I was like, oh, it's like the perfect balance of like philosophical and spiritual at the same time which they're actually very clashing ideas i think like fundamentally they kind of they kind of clash anywho <laughs> focus 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 um the importance that she articulates it translates sure she's talking about music but it like translates to art on the larger and more general scale and the outro for introducing joss stone joss stone sings about music as a lover I see art as a lover in a sense, however strange it may sound, and hearing someone else express that was great. It was wonderful. Call it the algorithm or synchronicity, but I clicked on this video about expressionism and it made me feel valid. It's just rare for me to feel so validated, or at least so frequently. People just look at me weird, honestly. It makes me feel like I really need to finally buy Friedrich. Nooch? Nooch? Is that how you pronounce? Oh god, I googled it and then I still forgot. I need to buy his book. Or books. There was a quote in this video and it was about, uh, it said, What is great in a man is that he is a bridge and not an end. A triad of German expressionists formed a group referring to himself as the bridge. I'm an expressionist. I'm a bridge, aren't I? Isn't that what I went on about so much in that video that I made before this one? 
that you should watch if you like torture again. Um, Friedrich Nuch. I'm sorry if I say his name wrong. I'm so sorry. He was born two days before me, October 15th. I was born October 17th. October 15th was my due date, according to my mother. But I was like, nah, I need to marinate. Plus, I'm Saturn ruled. I like to take my sweet, sweet time. <laughs> like, literally. Capricorn, Capricorn, Moon, Mars, Ascendant. I have Saturn in fourth house. I felt drawn to philosophy ever since I read Sophie's World. It's incredibly polarizing if you go off the reviews on Goodreads, but I loved it. It sort of implanted in me the idea of a female philosopher, and I might be like a chronic overthinker and or analyzer, but I mean, I don't, I don't know any other way to be. And I've oscillated from Albert Camus, Jean-Paul Sartre, 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 and Fyodor, I can't say his last name. They put together, <laughs> those letters are like such opposing sounds. I, Fyodor, Dof, ugh, I don't know. I tried to read one of his books once. It was about like, what is it? Russian, Russian prison camp. It was an ebook. I hate ebooks. I need physical, tangible books or I can't do it. I can't do it. And I know like on thrift books, those books are like very cheap. And I should, I should really invest in it. But like, oh, and I love thrift books. I love books that are old and beaten up. I hate buying new books. I love buying secondhand things because they're already pre-loved and they have character. New things. I intentionally would buy new books and then like grind the edges of them against my desk to make them look old. I don't know. I have a problem. I like things that look loved. But anyway, I attempted to take philosophy courses, but I dropped out. Of the two that I attempted as like one semester and then I think I don't know if it was it was probably non-consecutive the other semester I attempted to take one but the professors were very inconsistent and erratic plus they discussed organized religion and like critical extremes like one of the professors was very religious and then the other one was like ooh, I don't know like he really I hear I don't know he just really chose like like ooh, I don't know how what word would you use like they were he was very critical in like the worst way but not like in a way that i don't know like where his his criticism of it stemmed from it might have been personal who knows but i i, I have no interest in organized religion i just don't i just i just don't care and philosophy is hard to get into and like for such a small segment it's like a lot of very strong opinions very quickly and that's philosophy much like psychology it's a lot of like schools of thought and opinions anyway but, oof, like, these opinions were just so abrasive so quickly. Anyway, sorry I ramble. I kind of make sense to me, I think. If you take anything away from this, it is art. Truly art. Harvest of my inner torment on display right next to the falafel cart. I like that. And he was not motivated by the base aspects of humanity. He wanted to create his art, and that's all he cared about. He just wanted to, to make art that no one could see. That 